finish up in a heap presently. A oh, little steep closer, going around the, uh, the bottom of this field now. Oh, here's the loco coming round. Yes, Ran out of ticket in 2012, I think it was, the boiler on this loco, so it's now waiting its turn to be stripped down uh, it's for not, overhaul. It's not Colin driving this time. As you were saying yesterday, it's interesting to watch the back of that trailer to see the way that those axles can pivot and move to help you get past obstacles like poles and dot roundabouts, keep left signs and all the rest of the rubbish that's put in the road. And that can either be automatically steered like that one is at the moment, or you can get a remote control system to put on the back so that when you're inching it into position, you've got control over the steering on the trailer and the rest can be left to the driver of the tractor unit on the front. Unusual engine going down now, that uh, Marshall in that rather uh, distinctive blue livery, Mark Farwell from just up the road. Uh, Would you call that royal? It's not royal blue, is it? Or is it? No, it's a bit too dark. Too My dark. wife says I don't understand colours, so. Uh, no, it says it's too dark. Day, Malcolm. They were a tool to do a job. And and. If you wanted to lift 15 tonne, you didn't want to bother jacking it up. You just made the engine do it. Uh, and, and that's what they did. And and that's it, a lot of the engines were, were uh, subject to that sort of abuse. Well, the Big Mac is now having a go at taking the railway loco up the hill. Um, and the weak point It has it. to be said, I think the Mac is over-fueling a little bit at the moment. Uh, but bearing in mind it's just come back from Kenya, uh, and one doesn't know what sort of maintenance it received out there. Um, it, it's probably doing quite well to be pulling at all. Uh, but anyway, the way he goes up the hill. The Mac engine, of course, the, the original, uh, what they call the Maxidine, I think. Uh, tremendous uh, lugging engine, very, very high torque at low revs. I'm quite sure he'll get it up there, it's just a question of how fast. In the meantime, I have the pleasure of looking at Independence. Lovely barrel road loco, fresh out of the shop. Uh, 
it should be. And all the drivers in their 20s. Young lads who's driving Bodicea passed his steam driving test, his competence test back in the spring before he went off to New Zealand. Um, and it, it's quite a, a tough day in the test. Um, says he who sits on the other end of the clipboard. Um, it's quite surprising how experienced engine men get in quite a sweat when you start throwing questions at them and getting them doing manoeuvring tests and backing up to a trailer without hitting it and then you go out on a road run, uh, see how they manage the engine at speed in traffic and so on. And uh, he passed with flying colours. So you didn't see then, Andrew, when the engine in front of us pulled away. The, one, the ones in the front of the trailer jumped about six foot on. fiddle away with them, and one day they work well, and the next day they won't. Anyway, there we are. They're coming back up the, uh, the small slope, shall we say. See that uh, nice downhill stretch. Lightning's come back up to blowing off again. Steadied around there. One of the downsides of having this nice Welsh coal that doesn't produce too much smoke, of course, is you can't see very well what's going on uh, as far as which engine is working. And if you if you go on YouTube, which I do a lot, uh, and get find some of the uh, things that people have posted the railway locos working, particularly when they're tackling. Uh, the banks in the southwest, Rattery and Dayton and places like that. And look at the engines as they come towards the bank. Uh, and look at the colour of the smoke. And you would like to think that when you get to the bottom of the bank, you've got a nice clear white uh, smoke because it means the fireman's got a nice clean fire that is burning up brightly uh, and he's confident of tackling the bank. When he arrives at the foot of the bank with thick black smoke, and he's firing fury there now. It's a good push to get him moving. And it's almost a case of you're going whether you want to or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. brute strength, that engine. It is just an extraordinary piece of kit. Les rebuilt the upper works on that a couple of years ago. We were down at his house and the, the piston and piston rod out of that engine for the low pressure cylinder was more than I could pick up. It's a hell of a piece of metal. And you imagine that lot going backwards and forwards about three times a second when the engine's uh, in full swing. No, Activities will go on in the ring until probably dark at least. So <laughs> stay and enjoy. Trailer think. rides are going on still. What are you thinking um, just now, just glancing out there like you do when you sort of tend to switch off? That basic principle of a piston going up and down and a connecting rod and a crankshaft it hasn't really changed for over a hundred years, has it?